It's Friday, November 30th. My name's Jeff Fretz, and you're watching Axery's broadcast. Let's start with the technical outlook for the euro dollar. Price was able to break above daily pivot again and now is approaching previous high, and if it doesn't rebound, it will retest resistance R1. Rise above this level will be indicating next target at R2. Rebound from resistance will approach daily pivot again and decline below this level, fall towards S1 support. If it doesn't form low on this level, it will continue towards S2 support. Based on these conclusions, we're expecting a bullish trend today. After that, according to our outlook for the dollar yen, price has almost reached resistance at R1 and correction will soon be in favor. It will focus at first on S1 support and then at daily pivot where it will probably rebound. If it doesn't bounce, price will continue towards S2 support and below this level will confirm a downward move and next objective at S3. The vast majority of our indicators expect a bearish trend. Next to sterling dollar, it is approaching resistance at R1 where further rise may be limited. In this case, it will probably move sideways and will be limited by daily pivot from below. But sustained rise will target a next objective, R2. If it falls below daily pivot, it won't exceed support at S1. And based on these chosen indicators, we assume a bullish trend. Finally, the dollar franc has declined below daily pivot and now heading towards S1 support. If it doesn't rebound, we can expect further fall towards S2 where the bottom could be formed. If it holds above current support, consolidation will be in favor. If it approaches R1 resistance, upward move will be in favor. The vast majority of our indicators in chart analysis in the dollar franc show a bearish trend. First news for today will be released at 8 a.m. GMT when Economic Research Agency will release figures about economic barometer. Analysts are expecting a slight decline from 1.67 to 1.61 points. Also, it will have a medium impact on the franc. At 10 a.m. GMT, Eurostat is going to release figures about unemployment rate. This medium impact news is expected to increase slightly from 11.6 to 11.7 percent. Last news for today will concern about Chicago PMI published at 2.45 p.m. GMT. Previous figures showed contraction when it fell to 49.9 points, but today it is expected to rise to 50.7 points, suggesting expansion. Both TAO strategies are holding at first two places, followed by FXC in 1985, which has declined to 603.8 pips. On the upside, System Firo in fourth place has increased to 501.8 pips. Sphinx in fifth position was replaced by Auto Euroquad strategy, gaining 444.9 pips. In the multi-trader platform, Fibonacci and Fractal strategy was moved to second position by a rise strategy, gaining 5.72%. At third place is Jumping FX Strategy, slightly rising to 11.49%. IGS Fund is at fourth place, followed by Taiji Rising, 4.37%. In 1995, on this date, official end of Operation Desert Storm. Thanks for watching and have a nice weekend. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter. See you later.